So apparently the entire broadcasting team of Grim Brits Blitzrow, Brickhead Mulligan, and Bricks Jr. is going to be out of action for a bit. So yes, have the commissioner do the broadcasting work. I mean, I've never done it before, so let's see how this goes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of... To part one of our Monday Night Football doubleheader between the Nashville Lycans and the Snuffalo Thrills. We are going to be live to you from Newsen Stadium in Snuffalo, New York. Conditions are expected to be quite freezing, as it always is in the city of Snuffalo. We don't have a lot of uh, hazards on the field, except for 13 uh, spots of thin ice that I managed to design there myself as it was one of the newer stadiums in the game. It's definitely going to be a blizzard. Temp highs of minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So we are definitely going to be in for some frostbite. Hope you are well bundled up. Tonight's matchup once again is between the Nashville Lycans and the Snuffalo Thrills. Time to begin a uh, game day battle. Our imp toss will be presented by... We didn't get a sponsor for this game? Oh, for crying out loud. Ugh. Okay, somebody needs to get online and get us a sponsor. Who else is going to pay for this freaking video? This freaking stream? This freaking broadcast, come on. Okay, so the imp toss was won by the Nashville Lycans, and they will receive the first half kickoff. Snuffalo Thrills will kick off right to them. Itchy Howler, the burn returner, to uh, return the ball. Pass to 30. 35, and now he's going to get... Uh, there it is. Oh, no, no, he managed to get right out. Oh, and he gets slammed right away. It is around the 39-yard line. Finally going to get this uh, drive going. It is first and 10. In the I formation. Snaps the ball. And we got a beast boost dirty trick right to start the game. Uh, they're going to have a hard time tackling him. They're going to have to wait until that whole uh, spell expires. Derek Frenzy, the running back. Uh, yeah, definitely got some big gaps. Snuffalo Thrills looking to clear, uh, close the gap. Surprised the uh, hazards aren't uh, going into effect. And right off the bat, we got ourselves a touchdown. No penalties on the play. So the six points will stand. A one-and-done play by the Nashville Lycans, courtesy of running back Derek Frenzy, number 22. That was a 61-yard-long uh, play. And let's see what they'll do here. It appears they will bring out the field goal unit for the extra point attempt. Ball snapped. And it will smash right through the glass or the ice for the extra point. Current scoreboard is 7-0 in favor of Nashville Lions with 558 left in the first quarter. And now Didi Crimera, the burn returner for the Snuffalo Thrills, will attempt to return and gets bonked right on the head. He slammed down at the at the team's own 37-yard line to start the drive, first and 10. A standard formation. Snaps the ball to Moss Slammers. Heads it over to Gnarly Slander, right receiver, and is taken down. First and 10, nice going. 528 and counting down and left in the first quarter. Now they're going to hand it over to the running back, Devin Single Scary. Ooh! Not a lot of gain on that one, just five yards. It will be second down. Clock will run. Ball is placed. It is now snapped. Will attempt a passing play. Ball is passed. Over to Teflon Riggs, second right receiver, and it is received. Ding the bell, it is a first down. First and 10, ball on the opposing 20-yard line. Definitely in the red zone now. Another snapped ball over to, from Walsh Lamon. Over to Teflon Riggs again, and that's going to be enough for a first down. It is now first and goal. Ball is currently on the 10-yard line. 
Boss Lehman going to try and run it himself, but gets sacked on the play. Loss of two yards. It is second and goal. Harold Slamdry to be credited for the sack. How does he absolutely know about that Melissa Eltheridge after party? Boy, these people are getting a lot of invites. But then again, these are superstars. It is second and goal. Ball on the 12-yard line. Boss Slammer's looking for a receiver. I don't think the receiver remembered the memo to catch the ball. It is third and 12 after that incomplete pass. Clock is stopped at 3.53 left in the uh, first quarter. Ball is sna snapped to L Mosh Lamon. And it this time will be received and connected. Touchdown, Snuffalo Thrills. But appears we have a bullshit penalty on the play. That touchdown is going to be reversed. Well, that's because Mar Martin Scorizzi is overrated. Yeah, some of our MFL uh, officials appear to be uh, very opinionated. And obviously, they are not going to try and bribe him. They're just going to go ahead and kill them. That will back them up for 15 yards. And now we have number 93, Don Dirty Money Dingleberry, to serve as the new referee until somebody gets around to uh, killing his ass. Just so you know, all players and referees in the game are resurrected after they are killed, but only after the game. Obviously not during. Third and goal ball at the 37-yard line. They're going to have a long way to go. Makes it to the wide receiver. Not going to get a lot of yards. Only a gain of seven. It is fourth and goal. They'll have to decide if they're going to be stupid enough to go for the 25. No, they will not. They are going for what appears to be a pretty good distance field goal. Might be worth three or four points. They'll kick it up. Smashed right through the ice. It is good for four points. Snuffalo Thrills definitely not happy about the loss of touchdown thanks to that bullshit penalty. But they will settle for a good four-pointer. Don't forget in this league, you score more points the more further away you are from the field goal when you kick it. Itchy Howler now to return the ball and is taken down at the 34-yard line. First and 10. Nashville Lycans have the ball. They are ahead of the game with with a three-point lead. Ball is snapped to Diane Ramakill. Looking for a receiver. Oh, we got a slaughter. We got at least... Oh, four bodies dead. There's got to be four bodies dead. Definitely some shots fired from our hazards in the sidelines. Oh, my goodness. What an amazing pass. And there has to be four dead people. Yes, there are. Number 99, number 50, number 96, and number 24. All of them dead and out for the remainder of the game. Don't forget... If enough players die, we might end up with a forfeit. Which is probably not good. I break the game to not have that many forfeits. Because for crying out loud, I'm trying to get a bonus here, people. We have some content to make. All right. Second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard uh, line. Dark Friends, he's going to try and run with the ball. Oh, he might make it past the first down line. I stand corrected. A gain of eight yards on the play. Third down, two yards to go. Ball is set up. Looks to be an all right side formation. Diane Ramakale to receive the snap. Makes the pass. Over to Derek Frenzy. Running back easily receives that ball it is a first down nice going at the 12 yard line and we have another penalty on the play and we have another bullshit penalty this time for excessive farting Whew. yeah i'm not sure if it's a good idea to feed the players shit loads of bushes baked beans prior to the game I know I definitely uh, had the consequences of that in the broadcasting booth when I was uh, watching over um, Brickhead Mulligan's commentary for the first time when he started doing this. Anyway, yeah, they killed a ref, and they're going to be, uh, I think it's a backup of another 15 yards. Yep. So now it is third down, and it uh, looks like the pun is warning, warming up on the sidelines there. All right, they are going to try and run it over to the running back and yeah that's not going to work that's going to be a loss of two yards fourth down 29 yards to go and it appears they have brought on the punting unit 
Ball is snapped. Fred Corn to make the putt. Oh, what a putt! That's got to be more than 60 yards. DD Crimera to return it, though. And is almost thrown into the ice. That will be a first down. AJ Growl definitely uh, showing off for the fans there. Ball will start on the team's own 38-yard line. It is first and 10. Snuffalo thrills down by three points. They'll take it to the running back. It will be a gain of three yards. Second down, seven yards to go. All right, ball is snapped. Mosh Lamon looking for a receiver. He'll find one in Devin Singleberry, the running back. And that will be a move to change. It's a first down. First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. Mosh Lamon, quarterback at, oh, yikes. Oh, got his neck snapped like crazy. That was definitely a dirty trick. Probably one of those uh, berserker mode. Yeah, dude, I've seen the way you uh, eat your tacos at Taco Bell. You should probably uh, not do that prior to the game. Yeah, we don't have dietary restriction laws uh, like we do in the NFL because this is the Mega Fun League, not the No Fun League. And speaking of the Mega Fun League, that is the end of first quarter of action. We got a very defensive, heavy scoring affair. Nashville Lycans up 7-4. to four. We head now to the second quarter of play. Seven-minute timer has been reset. Here we go, Mosh Lamb in the quarterback. Looking for a receiver, and we'll find one in Teflon Riggs. Second wide receiver. Oh, he broke a tackle there and finally gets taken down at the 12-yard line. Move the chance. It's another first down. It is first and 10. Clock will continue to run with 629 remaining and counting. Mosh Lamont to receive the, to snap the ball. It'll go to Devin Singleperry, the quarterback. And that will be a gain of nine. Second and one. One yard away from the first down. Three yards away from the touchdown. They will now receive the ball. And he's got a shotgun. He's going nuts and killing a lot of players. Oh, that is an easy shotgun heavy touchdown. No penalties on the play. Snuffalo Thrills will get to keep the six points this time around. Exactly, Mosh Lamon. You took the words right out of my mouth. Unbelievable. Great use of the shotgun. It only took it only took one life that time. Number 57 is dead. I think he was, uh, I forgot what the E stood for. Yeah, I probably should have uh, had my notes with me. By the way, this whole um, broadcast thing was literally last minute. I did not get the call that neither uh, broadcaster was going to be available for the Monday night games until literally... Probably an hour before the game. So, anyway, the kickoff is going to be made. Oh, almost muffed it there. Itchy Howler does pick it right back up, taking it past the 20, the 25, the 30. Oh, nope, broke a tackle there. Going to make it past the 40. Oh, that's a nice return there. They'll start the drive on their own 42-yard line. It is first and 10. Getting ready to set. They will snap the ball. And it looks like there's a gigantic uh, dirty trick right there. Ooh, managed to dodge a shot right there. And that will be enough to move the chains. First and ten. Yeah, they had to do a panic play on that one. Let's see what they will do here. Snaps the ball. Heads over to Derek Frenzy. That went nowhere. In fact, that actually backed up two yards. Second down, 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 45-yard line. Oh, I'm sorry, the opposing 45-yard line. I didn't realize they already went past the uh, midfield. Yeah, you really can't see a lot of logos there with the with all the snow and stuff. Ooh, took a couple shots to the chest after receiving that ball. And it, they're going to bring out the measuring unit. Just enough for the first down. Move to change. We got a first down. Here we go. That's the ball to Derek Frenzy. And that got nowhere. Backed up a... Uh, a yard, that's going to be second down. 
Setting up for the next play. Taking it straight to the Ryan Ramakill. Oh, and that's a sticky ball dirty trick. And that's going to result in a sack. Oh, man, that's got to suck. Thinking that you had a great, uh, great receiving play, great passing play, only to find out somebody managed to sneak some crazy glue onto that ball. Yeah, you guys are dirty for that. And that's why we love the Mega Fun League, the Mutant Football League, where we encourage you to cheat. Otherwise, you're not going to win. Oh, took a few shots to the uh, shoulders there and is taken down. It is fourth and ten. Ball on the opposing 33-yard line. What are they going to do here? It looks like they are going to punt it. Hmm. I guess they do not have a lot of faith in their uh, kicker there. That's a very short punt, and it looks like the ball is down, probably because of how short the punt was. A little surprised they didn't try to go for a field goal here, but anyway, uh, Snuffalo Thrills will pick it up here. They have a four-point lead. It is first and ten, ball on their own. Whoa, we got a Sonic. Oh! oh, I think there was a hot potato there. So let's see, we have number 26 for Nashville Lycans, dead and gone. And we also have number 14 for the Snuffalo Thrills, Teflon Riggs. He'll be out for the remainder of the game. That is quite the unfortunates, ladies and gentlemen. All right, first and 10. And we'll send it over to running back Devin Singlescary. And, yep, we'll immediately take a first down right there. For some reason, I keep calling him Singleberry because it's kind of hard to remember the names and read them while everything is going on at the same time. Anyway, it is first and 10 ball on the uh, posing 42. I don't know. Anyway, they're going to receive the... Oh, no, it was their own 42. But I think it may have been enough for a first down. I stand corrected. They're uh, about two inches short, so it'll be second and inches ball on the 48. Devin single scare will finally make it past the uh, midfield. And that's going to be a first down. Ball's now on the opposing 42. First and 10. And a timeout is now going to be made by the Snuffalo Thrills. There is 1 minute 50 seconds on, in the second half. I mean second quarter, excuse me. This is the first half. Mosh Lamin will receive the ball. Send it over to Devin single scary to try and advance it. And that's not going to go anywhere. That's going to back up a yard, and Snuffalo Thrills will pull a second timeout. Keep that clock stopped. Minute 40 remaining. They want to get into a significant lead before going into the second half of the ball game. Mosh Lamond receives the snap. Sends the ball over to Single Scary. And they're going to send out the measurement sticks, and... Yep, a little bit has breached. That's enough for a first down, and they will pull their last timeout of the half. Minute 26 seconds left into half. First and 10. Ball on the opposing 32. Mosh Slammin receives the snap. Looking for a receiver. And goes to all reliable. Devin single scary right there. Trying to make it to the first down line. Gets nowhere. Yeah, you're going to need to bench Devin Single Scary pretty soon. Mi less than a minute to go in the second quarter. Mosh Slammin. Sending it over to Brad Slater this time. Brad Slater, number 22, is taken down at the 5. It is now first and goal. Clock is still running. 36 seconds. The hurry up offense has now been activated. Mosh Slammin. Sending it over to Brad Slater. Oh. No gain on the play. It is second down and goal. And Mosh Slammin is going to have to go to the sidelines. He is injured. They're going to have to get a new quarterback for the time being. Sending it over to Brett Slater. And that literally got nowhere. They have to back up a yard. Third and six. And this is going to end up being the last play of the first half. And it just got nowhere. Not enough time to make a field goal. We are now heading into halftime. And once again, we do not have a sponsor. Because um, our producers are freaking low cows. Can't even be bothered to get us a sponsor. Anyway, check out the halftime stats. Snuffalo Thrills up ahead by four points. It is 11 to 7. And what an amazing halftime show by Disturbed.
It is now time to begin the third quarter of play. Snuffalo Thrills is up 11-7. Don't worry, you're all you're not going to get fired if you lose, but you will get embarrassed cuz nobody wants to take a loss in the column this season, especially when nearly every game needs to matter for reasons I have not really gotten into. Anyway, DD Crimera to receive the ball and is taken down at the own 35-yard line. First and 10. Yeah, as you can see, we got some uh, players remaining on the roster. They're going to send it over to Devin Singlescary and is immediately wrestled to the ground. They only gained a yard on that one. It is second and nine ball on the own 36 yard line. They will receive the snap. And he's got a shotgun again. Let's see how many bodies he can take with him this time. Looks like he is out of ammo. And they were able to overcome his shotgun frenzy and was able to stop him. Uh, five yards short of the first down. We have lost officially number 98 of the Nashville Lycans. Another furry out of the game. You hate to see it, folks. Or you may love to see it if that's what you're into. We don't judge here at the Mutant Football League. Anyway, we had a passing play by Gnarly Slander. Still going, still going, ladies and gentlemen. Making it past the 30, now the 25, the 20. Is anybody going to take him down? Already into the 10 zone. And is in the end zone. That is a touchdown for Snuffalo Thrills. There is no penalty on the play. Yeah, that was a good time to uh, bribe the ref. Why didn't you take that, Nashville Lycans? Oh, boy, that's a very um, amazing play by Gnarly Slander. Amazing stats he racked up. Two players are injured, number 35 and number 51. They'll have to go to the sidelines for the time being. And it looks like they're just going to do the uh, standard one-point extra point field goal attempt. Ball snap. Kicks up. It's all routine, ladies and gentlemen. It's good. So with that in play nashville lichens to receive the kickoff they are down now by two possessions it is 7 to 18 in favor of snuffalo thrills H.G. Haller to receive the ball in attempt to return makes it past 35 jumps over the hole and is just just about a couple of centimeters shy of the 40 yard line it is going to be first and 10. number 72 is injured and we'll have to go to the uh, sidelines for the time being. Let's see what he'll do here. They will snap the ball, send it over to Derek Frenzy, and that will back him up six yards. A tackle for loss thanks to number 33 on the defense. He's going to be really happy tonight. Diane Ramakill looking for a receiver. Instead, sends it over to Derek Frenzy, and ooh, pal driven. Ouchies. That's definitely not going to be good for your neck and or your spine. It is now third and 11. Diane Ramakel to receive the snap. Looking for a receiver. Oh, we got another murder ball. And that one only took a life that time. So only one body is going to be dead and gone. But it will be enough for the first down. They will keep that drive alive. Oh, actually, I take that back. Two players are dead for Snuffalo Thrills, number 91 and number 55. They'll be back in time for uh, next game, but for now, they are out of it. Derek Frenzy. Taken down. At the 37-yard line, it is second down, four yards to go. John Remichel to receive the ball, looking for a receiver. Over to Derek Frenzy, and is it enough for the first down? They're sending out the measure markers. No, just, just a foot shy. Third down, inches to go. Oh, looks like a Damon Ramakill makes it past to Derek Frenzy. 
All the way now down to the 21-yard line. It is now first and 10. <coughs> Dyne Ramakel to receive the snap. And that just went freaking nowhere. It is second down, 10 yards to go. Nashville Likens. Dyne Ramakel to receive the snap. Looking for a receiver. Sends it on over to one pass Gorman. That's his first uh, reception of the day, and that is a touchdown for Nashville Lycans. No penalties. This scores will stick. Now the interesting decision. Will they go for one, or will they try a two-point conversion? It, hey, as long as it's not an NFT, it's all good in the hood. They're going to go for two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how well this works out. And, oh! Attempt to tackle, and nope! Still got it, still got it! And that'll go in, adding another two points to the board. The Nashville Lycans now down by three. Would not make a lot of sense to try for an onside kick. There's still plenty of time left in the game. There's 2.39 left in this quarter, and we still got another seven minutes of football after that it will be a standard kick over to Snuffalo Thrills Didi Crimera the burn returner is going to receive 30 to the 35 and is taken back a yard and finally slammed down it is going to be first and 10 Snuffalo Thrills Mosh Lehman to, to receive the snap, hands it over to running back, and gets his face planted at the line of scrimmage. That literally didn't go anywhere. Second and ten. Ball on their own 34. Mosh Lehman to receive the snap. Sends it over to receiver Devlin Stingletary, and that'll be just enough to move the chains. Their drive will stay alive. First down. Mosh Lehman will immediately send it over to Dev Devlin single scary and that will not go anywhere. They are backed up a yard. Second down and 11 to go. Snapping it up. Devlin single scary. Able to gain nine. It is a yard short of the markers. Number 17, Mosh Lemon, is injured and will have to go to the sidelines for now. Clock is still running at 110. Third down. Can they make the stop? Mitch Lichitsky, the quarterback, sends it over to Mosh Sleazy, and that will be enough to keep their drive alive. They are now at the opposing 34-yard line. It is first and 10 once again. Sends it straight to the running back, Devin, Devlin Single Scary. Gain a seven on the play. They are now at their opposing 26 yard line. Uh, second down, three yards to go. Mitch Lichitsky. Looking for a receiver and finds one in Devlin Single Scary, the running back, and is taken down. At the four-yard line. It is now first and goal. Great play. And that is officially going to do it for the third quarter. It is 18 to 15 in favor of Snuffalo Thrills. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time to begin the fourth and final quarter of the game. Snuffalo Thrills are just four yards away from the touchdown, and they will pick it up. Touchdown, Snuffalo Thrills. No penalties. The touchdown will stick. Uh, just a little small reminder. The Snuffalo Thrills are... 1-0 going into the contest, uh, Nashville Lycans 0-1. Snuffalo Thrills, after the touchdown, they will attempt a, an extra point. Snaps. And it's good. Snuffalo Thrills now with a 10-point lead. It 
They will now kick the ball off to Itchy Haller to receive the ball. It's Nashville Lycans really need to get it back in this game. This is the final quarter. They only got 6 minutes and 30 seconds to do it. They are taken down at their own 36-yard line to start the drive. First and 10. Sends over to Diane Remichel. Over to A.J. Growl. Ooh, dodged a couple of bullets there. Chains will move. First and 10. Ball on the opposing 49. They just made it past midfield. Yeah, it's really hard to uh, see the lines. Pretty good in that snow. Diane Remichel will send it over to... Um, I, I don't know who he was trying to send it over to, but obviously they did not catch the ball, so it won't matter in the slightest. Incomplete pass, second down, 10 yards to go, ball on the 49. Diane Ramakel. Oh, and a sacked on the play. Yeah, he's going to need a sack lunch after that. Evil Lawless, number 39, credited with the sack. That's his fifth tackle of the game. Well, he's definitely really good at violence, as evidenced to his stats today. Diane Ramakill to receive the ball. Over to Gulio Jones. I mean, Gulio Bones. And Diane Ramakill is going to have to head back to the sidelines. He is injured again. It is now fourth down, six yards to go, and it looks like they're bringing out the punting unit. I don't blame him on this one. This one's going to be a short punt. The ball will land. Oh, you got to be kidding me. They will, see, they will pick it up at the six. And look at Didi Crimera. Still returning the ball. And it's finally knocked down by the backside of his head, but not before making it past the 30-yard mark. Their ball will start at their own 31-yard line. It is first and 10. 446 left in the game. Mosh slamming. Oh, and it's sacked on the play. That's a, that's a massive loss of 10 yards. Demento Tawdry, that's his first sack and thus first tackle of the game. He wears the 96. It is second down, and good lord, that's a mile. Receive the ball, and we got a berserker dirty play. Oh, we got a side boom, dirty play. And was that enough? Oh, he died. That's a fumbled ball. Nashville Lycans to recover. They did get a first down uh, from earlier. Oh, wow, lots of shots being fired. But that's probably not going to go anywhere. Nashville Lycans, amazing dirty trick play despite the sonic boom. Great use to the Berserker. They will now take the ball. On the oh number one wide receiver Narlia Slander is dead. He is out of the game. First and ten. Ball on the opposing 33 yard line. They're getting pretty close. They need to get something going. Diane Ramakill to receive the snap. Sends it over to receiver Julio Bones. Nice going. Makes that's I think that's a gain of a good 20 yards maybe. I forgot the math. But anyway, it's on the opposing 16, first and 10. Diane Ramakill looking for a receiver. A.J. Growl sends it in. Oh, dodged. Dodged literally everything, including the kitchen sink. No penalties on the play. That is a touchdown. Now the option is, will they go for one or two? And again, Diane Ramakill is going to have to um, limp on back to the sidelines. Yeah, we're going to have to get the medical personnel to figure out what the fuck is wrong with that guy. I think that's like his fourth trip to the sidelines for injuries. Anyway, they're going to go for one here. And the one point extra point attempt is good. Snuffalo Thrill still with the lead 25 to 22. What will Nashville Lycans do? They will do a standard kick. Looks like they're going to rely on their defense to make the stop. It worked last time. Let's see if it will work this time. 35. On to the 40-yard line. Directly on that line that time. It will now be first and 10. Ball drive will start on the 40. 
see what they will do here. Snaps the ball over to Devlin Singlescary, and that got nowhere. Second down, 11 yards to go. Ball still on the 40-ish yard line. Mosh Lamin to receive the snap. Devlin Singlescary, only a gain of two yards that time. Ooh. That was a very rough play. It is now third down, nine yards to go. Mosh Lamin receives the ball. Looking for a receiver. Devlin Singlescary makes it past the first down line. Move the chains. It's another one. Two-minute warning is now going to be on the play, and the Nashville Lycans is on crunch time. They're down by three, and they do not have the ball. They need to make a defensive stop right here if they expect to get a dub out of this game. Nice stoppage there. No gain on the play. It is second down, 10 yards to go, and Nashville Lycans will take their first time out of the, of the uh, second half. They have two timeouts remaining. Osh Lamin to receive the snap. Looking for a receiver. Finds one in single scary. Oh! Devlin, single scary is out of there. That is a dirty trick. Bombs away, or I think it was a hot potato. Either way, Nashville Lycans will take a timeout. They did get a first down, but they have now lost their star running back. Let's see what they will do here. Osh Lamin. Looking for a receiver. To Mo Sleazy. And that's going to be enough for the chains to drive. Nashville Lycans expected. Oh, we'll have uh, number 51 on the injured list. But they are expected to use their final timeout. And they most certainly will. They are officially out of timeouts. Snuffalo Thrills. Looking to run the clock all the way down and take the dub right there. Let's see what they'll do. Looking for a receiver. Finds one in Brad Slayla. And is taken down. Gain of four. Second down, six yards to go. Clock is running. There's no timeouts left for the Nashville Lycans. Mosh Lamin. Looks for a receiver. And is stopped just short of the uh, touchdown line. But it's not going to uh, matter too much, especially when Suffalo Thrills do make it all the way to the end zone. Mosh Lamin, an amazing performance, only missed one pass. Got 30, 31, 30 for 31. And gets sacked on the play. It's not going to really matter too much. Unfortunately, it will not be enough. It is second down five. They could just run down the clock as much as they can. Mosh Lamin. Looking for a receiver. It is a touchdown, which will now make it a two possession ball. Go oh, wait, wait, wait. We have a bullshit penalty. Let's see what this is about. Most lazy, I would not celebrate right now. You just got a 10 yard penalty. For apparently looking like that one guy who bullied a referee in high school. Yeah, you're definitely going to get killed for this. We have another ref attack scenario. Dude, reach the ref for crying out loud. All right, there we go. We got Capo San Lucas will be the uh, new official. Dude, you were supposed to set up your Cash App account. You were instructed directly by me. Come on, dude. Get with the program. Anyways, it is second and 30. All right, it is clear they're just going to run down the clock. And that is it. Time is up. It will not matter in the slightest. Final score, 25 to 22. The Snuffalo Thrills are 100% victorious in this whole scenario. Amazing performance. They advance to 2-0. The Nashville Lycans fall to 0-2. Nothing else more to say, and good lord, there is a uh, there is a bloodbath going on in celebration. Yeah, pretty much all of the uh, Nashville Lycans players are dead and gone. At least for the remainder of this week, they'll be back in time for next week's game. 
Uh, you're going to have a hard time traumatizing the fans here at this uh, stadium. Anyway, final score, 25-22. to 22, And next time we will get a sponsor. Here are the final stats of this game. Thank you guys very much for watching. We will see you next time.